We do have, I think the field uh, has reached a plateau in terms of what to expect from VEGF target therapy and from mTOR inhibitor. So how the field is going, I think in, in three ways. First is completely new targets that have nothing to do with VEGF, mTOR or immunotherapy or anything. These are completely new and we, we are working on that, uh, researchers are working on that. So that's, that's one. Second is understanding why patients that are on targeted uh, treatment that do experience benefit in terms of shrinkage, sometimes sustained, and you continue the drug and suddenly the tumors start growing without changing any of their medication, anything. This is what we call acquired mechanism of resistance. And there is some hints that the tumor uh, may upregulate certain pathways. So perhaps from the beginning, or sometimes at the time of progression, targeting both whatever we have, VEGF and mTOR, but also the pathways that eventually will lead to resistance is something that uh, may make sense. And third, we have a resurgence, not just in kidney cancer, but in multiple solid tumors of this novel immunotherapy that do not just stimulate the immune system in a non-specific way, like interleukin-2 and interferon. It just, it seems that it breaks this interaction between the T cell that seems to be exhausted and the tumor cell and unleash this immune response that's been uh, somewhat dampened by the effect of the tumor cell. So these um, uh, uh, checkpoint inhibitors uh, seem to have been creating a new buzz in kidney cancer and others. And we do have a trials that finished accrual and waiting to read to see if these agents will become standard or not in advanced kidney cancer of clear cell histology. Since now we don't have a biomarker, I think we, we should always strive to find a biomarker for each treatment we have. But so far, since the target therapy or even the time of the interleukin-2 and interferon, we don't have a valid biomarker. So assuming we won't have, not that we don't need to do the research, we continue doing that research, but assuming we don't have a biomarker that predicts a great response from a drug, uh, we at this point sequence the treatment one after one after one after one. And this comes from the experience with target therapy because we were not able to combine them. In oncology, usually we combine two active drugs. However, now with immune therapy coming in and no, this novel checkpoint inhibitor, we're reinventing, you know, we're looking again of what we did and we are combining this treatment. Currently, at least the phase one experience with the combination uh, do show toxicity, but do show that perhaps we can go to the next level if we're careful enough. We will not know until we have large randomized phase two or phase three about the long-term tolerability with this combination. We hope that two drugs that work well, let's say a VEGF target agent and a PD-1 inhibitor or CTLA-4 blockade, etc., were synergized and one plus one will not be two, will be three or four.